Hello everyone, this is Jesscat M here, and welcome back to another episode of Worlds of Wonder Season 2. And today, I should say quite a lot has happened since last episode, which was, um, last month. A lot of dirt stuff, as you can see, have appeared, and the villager buildings also kind of different. So for that, I'll be telling you about it very, very soon. But today, I want to say I don't have much time today. So we're going to be doing a few things, and it'll be the end of the video. So I hope you can spare a little bit of your time with me, guys. So let's get on with it. So first up, Let's head down to the basement, and let's harvest the crops there. That's the wheat, and then the potatoes and the beetroots. And there. Now let's head back down, get back to the surface, and I'll be showing you the nearest dirt structure near the base. So here they are, two units of pumpkin farms, and going down these stairs, under here is the Hopper Minecart Collection System. Now let's follow this path to the nearby village, and make it look a little bit more nicer. Oh yeah, and also finish it as well. So now the path is done, and I've given them these little lights, which are just torches on top of fence posts. And the pumpkin farm, which I built to look like a piece of candy corn for Halloween. I'm afraid it's not gonna be finished today, guys. Well, due to the time again. But I hope it'll be finished for next week. And now, since we have quite a few iron, let's fix up my tattered armor. That's the complete set. Back in my basement, and there's my cat there. Now let's change the um, shape of my cow farm here. Break that glass. Expand it a bit. Ah, there's a lot of gravel here. With that taken care of, let's kill some of the cows. And let's do some breeding. Now let's head to the old sugar cane farm, which is actually a zero tick farm, and it's now broken, since we updated from 1.14 to 1.15. Now, let's take a moment of silence to redeem the fact that this zero tick sugar cane farm has provided us with lots and lots of stacks of sugar cane and served really, really well. And now, it's gone. We'll just have to wait until 1.15 really comes out and we can officially make our own new Zero Tick Sugar Cane Farm. And now, we're gonna start digging a hole, which will later be a map room for all the surrounding areas here. So there go the item frames and the maps. Oh wait, not that. This one. Now the other one goes at the bottom. And there they are. A map of the, the base and part of the path to the village. And next we craft ourselves a golden apple because we're gonna go villager curing. There's a zombie villager nearby. I put him in a minecart. And we're gonna go cure him. So there he is. Now the splash potion of weakness. Ah, of course, I get the weakness too. And the golden apple. It's been a while and I'm pretty sure he's almost done. Ah, there. Whoa, he's a librarian. That's lucky. And the trades? Whoa, an enchanted book. 
on first level of trade. Now that's really ah. lucky. But I'm sorry, buddy. I have no rails, and I don't have a boat either. So I guess I have to uh, border you up and get you back next time to the villager building. You're gonna have lots of friends there. The librarian is safe and uh, bordered up. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be okay. And now I want to tell you about the villager building and its changes. So now we go up this platform to get a better view. Whoa, whoa. A zombie villager. And a baby one. Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna have to kill it. Now we go back up the platform. And we see. So the villager building now has... Of course, sweet berry bushes, as you saw many times before in this episode. And they're for defenses. They even once uh, defended the villager from an illager patrol. But now I'm gonna move them a bit. And I also added some windows. Also an arch, or well, not an arch. Uh, an upside down U shape as the entrance gate. And now I'm gonna be adding wooden pillars for framing. That's the wooden pillars all the way around on the corners. And now let's replant a few sweet berries. Now collect those over there. And to plant around the back. And as you can see over there, there's our uh, not so good friend. The pillager from the illager patrol. Oh no. Oh no, my shield killed him with his own arrow. Now a raid starting. Okay, so raids don't just start in villages. They start anywhere where there's a lot of villagers. And possibly beds and workstations too. And there they are. Now how many are those pillagers? Four? Five? Now let's go and fight them. Okay, block, block. Now let's go and attack. Two against one. Okay. Okay, that's one down. Okay, there goes the other one. One's still stuck in the water. Oh, sorry, my dear cat. Accidentally hit you. Now let's attack this guy. Okay, he's dead. And now for the last one. I can't keep off fending raids, so I'm gonna have to trap the last guy. Okay, he's following me. Now I'm gonna have to lead him to the boat. Okay, the turn. Now let's get up here and try to destroy the boat. Oh no, he's shooting me, he's shooting me. Now, okay, he's stuck in the boat. He ran to it himself. Okay, and my cat's sitting in there with him. Never mind. He's not, uh... No, he's, he's important. All the uh, loot has been taken, including an enchanted axe and an enchanted book. Okay, I think that last pillager is still angry. He's blowing some kind of horn thing. Now let's put the illager banner there. Okay, nice thing. And let's add some slabs on the top to indicate the second floor. Okay, the slab should have been one block higher, but let's change it uh, next time. But I guess that's all the time I have for today, guys. I think it'll be fine to uh, stay with the Halloween skin and the theme thing, but... I will be changing into my normal skin, or even my Christmas skin, soon. Oh yeah, almost forgetting, here's a time lapse showing a uh, previous building of the villager building. First it was just this, a plain box. So I removed the framing first, and it turned out to be, oh yeah, this is the platform that we used in this episode. Looked. Like this after that, and then I destroyed the uh, breeding part, 
along with the second floor and the trading stalls. Then I made a border so the villagers couldn't escape while I destroyed the whole building and rebuilt it until it ended up like the villager building at the start of the video. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to tell me what you thought about it in the comments. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time. So guys, below here is my line ID and here is my WhatsApp number or phone number as well. My email address is at mausalincatigli at gmail.com and below in the description there are links to my friends channels. But that is all from me guys. I'll see you next time.